When Walter Jacobson walks down the streets of Chicago, people, people usually recognize him. But for 48 hours, Walter became one of our city's forgotten, hungry, cold, homeless. Tonight, Walter returns to one of the stops from his Mean Streets diary, the Town Hall Police Station. The old Town Hall is on Halstead Street on the north side near Cubs Park, as mean a street as I found in my 48 hours. When I got here at the end of my first day, it was 1 o'clock in the morning, and I was hoping to God that the policemen in there were true to their motto, practice what they preach, the police motto, we serve and protect. That's what it says, we serve and protect. The wind chill was 20 below. I had been up 18 hours and on the street for 10. I had no place to sleep or even to keep warm. Got a place to stay? No. Me either. Overnight? So I could be as anonymous as possible, a professional makeup artist colored my teeth, added bags and lines under and around my eyes. There I go. Goodbye. And fashioned a beard. Can I borrow heat? Yeah. Just for a second. I met many people during my time on the streets. This man, for example, lives in a box and he takes his life day by day. What are you going to do tomorrow? I'll put all that time, worry, and problems in the hands of Jesus and God. At least my new friend has a place for the night. It's getting late and I need a bed. You have to spend some time learning the system. And that means it appears to know when and where to spend your money. I mean, it's not going to be easy to get money. I'm out. I am very hungry now. It's going on 1 o'clock, and I'm cold. I'd love to have a cup of coffee. It's gone. That means I'm going to have... Oh, God, there was gyros in there. Well, what I'd give to walk in and just ask if I could have a sandwich. You know what? I haven't got the nerve to do that. An even bigger problem was finding a place to sleep. There it is. Clarendon Community Center Park Field House. I'm ready. I am ready to get warm and lay down. How about uh, let me in? There? We're full. Oh, we're going to turn away a dozen guys. Huh? The man who runs the shelter was sympathetic and told me what to do next. The only thing I can do is to go to the police station from where the Department of Human Services will pick me up and take me to the closest shelter. He also said I could flag down a cop. I flagged down some cops, and they waved me away. Well, you, can walk, you can walk down there. I've been walking about seven miles tonight already. Yeah, well, you keep walking. Well, here's Addison and the police station, the town hall district. I made my call to the Department of Human Services, which told me to sit tight. I sure don't feel wanted in there, I'll tell you that. Like I'm the plague. Hi. I'm gonna try to lie down. I can't think of a night I've ever spent in my life that's been more miserable than this. The worst of it were the officers inside, at least the night that I was here. When I asked for help, I was directed to a telephone, payphone, and told to dial information for the City Department of Human Services. There is an 800 number for finding an available shelter. By the time I got to one, it was 5 o'clock in the morning and too late to sleep. Tomorrow at 10, how I then went on to Union Station and got moved out of there as well. Nobody wants the homeless hanging around, which is why they're always walking. Where I wound up, and what happened from page three of our diary bill tomorrow. Well, you'll clean up well, Walter. We'll look forward to tomorrow. Imagine what it's like to be homeless, cold, hungry, no place to go. Walter Jacobson entered that world for 48 hours. Tonight, he brings us a page from his Mean Street Diary, from a stop in his journey that he will never forget, Union Station. Bill, Union Station's like Lower Wacker Drive and West Madison Street and O'Hare Airport. It's a place that's known for the homeless, where they've come over the years now to rest and be left alone. I came here after 22 hours on the street and a 10-minute nap at a shelter on the south side. The station wasn't as friendly to me then as it is tonight, and the day ahead looked hard and cold. Nobody's going to buy.
bother me, I don't think. The first thing you do when the shelter closes is find a public place for keeping warm. Uh-oh. How are you doing today, sir? Okay, how are you? Fine. Are you taking the train today? I'm just resting for a minute. I'll give you the tent till, and then you gotta go, okay? get in anybody's way or cause any trouble. But. Maybe you don't. There's a lot of the homeless people that cause problems. And, oh, yeah? Yeah, very fortunate, which makes it bad for all you guys that are so bad. So I hit the streets. I had to figure out a plan. People who know the streets and know the system when they're homeless somehow manage to beat it. People are too much of a hurry, huh? Work right by. Yeah. Yeah. I don't even want to look at you. What's your name? My name's Walter. What's your name? Dennis? How you doing? Dennis knows the system. He knows about shelters and meals. And some days he gets lucky. 80, 82 bucks. Just, just like, huh? Just like that. We haven't dealt with any church for long enough. They say like two and a half hours. That's fabulous. Wish you luck. Not all days are this good for Dennis. And as for me, I'm hungry and almost broke. Oh my God, I may have lost my money. I've got 43 cents. I can't make a coffee. I, it's gone. trip that I've been thinking about for three hours is becoming so anxiety ridden I don't even I don't even want to eat. I'm losing my appetite. I can't sit down at a table with four people or even one. I am very unappetizing. Oh. I hate to be this way for real. When I thought I lost those few cents that I had left of my $3, I figured I might not eat again. Where do you go when you're hungry and you don't have any money? How do people react to the homeless? Tomorrow night at 10 o'clock, I run into some unexpected kindness and the beginning feelings of camaraderie. It's easier to fight for life sometimes when you have a partner. It's easier to survive when you somehow get a feeling that someone cares. That page out of our diary, Bill, tomorrow. Thanks, Walter.